Okay, the government, well, they're giving out free phones, but now doctors are giving out prescriptions, free prescriptions for food stamps. It's a quid pro quo also. Two New York City hospitals, they actually started a pilot program, and the intention is to have low-income people use them to buy health food. But Katrina Pearson is worried that the food stamp program in this particular case is growing completely out of control. In general, I guess, uh, Katrina, right? Oh, absolutely. But let's not call it food stamps. These are double value coupons with a written prescription from your physician. <laughs> okay. So walk us through how it works because I'm still trying to get my head around this thing. Uh, is it because of all these food deserts you can go to your nearest doctor and somehow get health food? Well, you know, where there's a will, there's a way with this government who loves doing things that is outside its scope of the fully intention of the federal government. Um, never mind the fact that states should be in control of this. Now there's a new way for low income or what they call low income. We've completely scrapped eligibility requirements from regular food stamp programs. So this is sort of new. And they are backed with some sort of venture capitalism, a little bit of federal grants. But in the end, it's you know, picking winners and losers because clearly, Charles, your local grocery store has produce that I guess they de decided isn't very healthy for you. All right, this is a pilot program. I, I don't know how they'll measure success or failure with it. Uh, to your point, I think the amount of people that we have, and it's on the screen, 101 million people who are in different uh, combined food programs, some cross different ones, whether it's food stamps, WIC, or whatever, but that is an extraordinary amount of people. On the screen, you see it's cost us $114 billion last year alone. But it doesn't look like there's any end in sight because, Katrina, to your, a point you sort of alluded to earlier, the administration's actually promoting these programs. They're trying to get more people on them, not less. It is definitely age of dependency. And, you know, in the light of the recent farm bill, this horrible farm bill that was just passed, FreedomWorks put out an article titled The Top Ten Reasons Food Stamps Need Reform. And they included a graph from the Heritage Foundation that shows these types of resources don't go to families with an immediate need. They go to non-elderly adults and children who have been on assistance for greater than 10 years. This is truly the age of dependency, which means the federal government is completely out of control and well beyond its scope in society. No, Katrina, I, I'm glad you brought up the amount of time people have been on these programs. I can remember growing up in my neighborhood, people who were born on food stamps and died on food stamps and, you know, generation Absolutely. after generation. How come no one talks about this, the idea that, you know what, this could actually be some sort of a trap, uh, you know, where you're not really helping people. Ult ultimately, you're harming them. You're actually giving them a way of never participating in the greatness that is America. Well, I think that's the purpose, Charles. I mean, they really aren't truly helping Americans. Whenever you're giving away things, and we know this through, through birth growing up, like you said, I lived in a neighborhood that way too, and some of us escape, and unfortunately many of us don't. It's always a helping hand, not a lifestyle, and that's what we've seen this government do. They have control and they maintain tower when you fully depend on them. Now it's food and, like your previous segment, even a cell phone. Hey, listen, Senator Vintner in our previous se segment also made the point, people like free stuff, so to articulate they to do. them that free isn't always good is not easy, is it? No, it's not easy at all, and it's, it's the very easiest thing to do is to just accept it. But unfortunately, more and more people are starting to hear and understand where this money is going, where it's coming from, which is yours in my pockets. You know, groups like Heritage Action are getting the word out to the average voter because it's not my kid that's going to be eating organic produce from a farmer's market. We still have to shop at the grocery store. I hear you. So when more and more people find out about these, I think you're going to see a lot more attention brought to it. I hope so. If 100 million people and 100 it's billion dollars if that doesn't wake the american public up maybe nothing will katrina thanks a lot appreciate it absolutely